For my Call of Duty feelings right now, I started playing Call of Duty in 2006 with Call of Duty 3 on PS3. I played every Call of Duty from Call of Duty 3 to Black Ops 2, and I didn't pick up another Call of Duty game until spring of 2020, which was Call of Duty Modern Warfare. What had happened was I played a free weekend of Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and I was enjoying it with friends. That's what kind of prompted me to get it again. I stopped playing that around the end of summer. We played it a lot, and then picked up the next game, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold. Cold War. I stopped playing that one much quicker than with Modern Warfare. Call of Duty Vanguard came out and I vowed to my friends that I would get the big three first person shooters. Call of Duty Vanguard, Battlefield 2042, and Halo Infinite. I did get some enjoyment out of Vanguard and Halo for a couple months. Battlefield 2042 was pretty much a day one flop. Since I didn't get a lot of gameplay out of those three games, I felt kind of disappointed about buying them at launch. This brings me to the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 coming out. Not entirely sure if I'm interested. It's mostly just because of the last two iterations not really grabbing me as much as the Modern Warfare experience. Now, because this is Modern Warfare 2, I am keeping an eye on it, and especially because I know some of my friends are going to be interested in playing it. Currently, I'm watching to see how it's going to go if everybody decides to get it. Like I said, as I was Call of Duty fan at the beginning, then it faded away. It's always been a big game, but it's positioning itself as going back to the way it was. I am keeping an eye on it. I can't say for sure that I'm going to be getting the next one. I did play Call of Duty Vanguard and the campaign Let's Play is going to be coming up June 17th, so you guys should go check that out. Pre-order now and get early access to the open beta.